Now, today let's analyze the issue of the standoff in Kenya Kwanzaa to pick a running mate from Mount Kenya. First, we have to identify why was it difficult for deputy president who have been roaming around claiming that the issue of running mate will give him sleepless night or will not give him sleepless nights it will be a simple task but it has turned out to be a big problem that needs a lot of consultation to be solved let's go back to the politics of the mountain mount kenya is a region that is vote rich they are known to put to cast their votes in one basket supporting one candidate of their own of their own or when convinced to support another they do it as one unanimously the mountain if you see after uhuru kenyatta who was known to be exiting power they didn't race against time to prepare a new kingpin to start shipping and uh, uh, giving skills to the new kingpin that is the first failure of the mountain but don't blame them first uhuru kenyatta was not quick to realize that he needs to prepare he needs to start developing his successor in his backyard in that connection the dp ran as fast as possible to the mountain and made sure he terminated any potential rising point man and that is why the first victim was mwangi kiunyuri he was totally finished from rising to the top echelons of kingpinship uh, so the strategy that the dp used to terminate and make sure that he finishes anyone who tries to be the successor of uru kenyatta in the mountain the other uh, the issue number three is that uh, the mountain has been dominated by too much uh, let me call them uh, big wigs who want to claim they talk on behalf of the mountain the first one was mwangi wairia but the other party had gone has gone nowhere second one was moses korea who created chama cha kazi but he was an, uh, an ally of dp the third one was this, the one of william kabogo the another one is a uh, kiunjuri with his own party you've seen jb muturi who went with an appointment with the mukuru wa nyagadanga in the name of claiming he wants to be the spokesperson of the mountain all these self-interest leaders have failed to support one of their own because when you are divided you will fall probably so these all leaders were led by their self-interest and they have not managed to support one of their own not forgetting martha karua if they could have teamed up together and support one they will have gone far peter munya comes he brags and say oh we need the seat to go to mount kenya east and the mount kenya west that gives the point of number four where we have divisions that robbed the mountain you had it had implode there were some volcanoes dividing the mountain into two parts where we have the mount kenya east and the mount kenya west the tension uh, was brought by many leaders 
I don't know who has carried who as a Njugukaranga. That war and tussle that we need uh, the running mate or uh, the presidency to shift from west who have dominated for a long time to go to the east which constitutes of Meru, Tarakanid and the rest. Uh, it brought a lot of divisions. Therefore, a pricing of many leaders. That is where the people of the mountain started losing confidence on their leaders. When you ask them now, they'll tell you, let the best candidate win. Now, let's come. Uh, so those failures that uh, many uh, potential kingpins rose uh, has caused a lot of confusion and mayhem in the mountain. So now they are just there saying, oh, let's vote anyone who will win. Now, this one you saw in the interviews of Azimio, where we had many uh, leaders from the mountain. You could see Peter Kenneth, Martha Karua, Sabina Chege, and Lee Kinyanjui. Now, in the Kenya Kwanzaa, the DP focused so much on campaigning in the mountain until he was ranked as the most popular candidate. He even claimed he has the keys to the mountain. When it comes to settling of the running mate issue, he had an uphill task, task where he had to balance. First, he had to cherry pick the running mate among his lieutenants, the clo closest allies. You could see him preparing uh, Kimandi Chungwa, Rigathi Kashagwa, Dindi Nyoro, and uh, Wahome, and he later realized that he had to pick the Rakanithi senator, Kifura Kindiki. DP was of the opinion he goes with Rigathi Kashagwa. But uh, you saw the other day picking uh, the Rakhine senator from just nowhere. Started to carry him into campaign trails and the rest. But Rihati Gashagwa has been campaigning for DP. He is a man with, uh, you've seen him, he's a ground mover. He has a lot of uh, electorate. He has numbers. But when it comes to Kindiki, he has brains, yes. But there are no numbers. That takes you to the lessons of the late President Moon. He used to pick professionals, but considering the numbers he required. Now, the standoff and uh, the issue at current, the stalemate at current, where Kendiki disagreed with Gashagwa, was brought in by Kimani Chungwa, who arrived there as early as possible and convinced the DP that they needed to vote to get the best running mate in the two. But the DP was of the opinion we go with Rihati. So the meeting had to take a long time. And you could see Moses Kuria complaining that uh, we, the people of the mountain, are totally sad and disappointed. We failed to manufacture and create our own kingpins. That could be the best or possible way to select running it. So the differences that occurred and manifested themselves at current caused the, uh, the, the discussions and negotiations to go for a long time due to voting that was brought in by Kimani Chungwa, who at some time might have disregarded Rigati uh, Kashagwa. So let's wait and see who the DP picks as his running mate. But the mountain is disgruntled, a lot of uh, differences, political workers, they are disorganized, and this is the time they are failing for the first time due to lack of good leadership skills by President Kenyatta. He failed to steer and spearhead preparations for the next campaign. But uh, the DP uh, failed Kenyans by failing 
to honor his statement that we the, the running mate issue is as easy as ABC and uh, declare and keep Kenyans waiting for a long time until they was they were tired. Let's wait and see. My guess is as good as yours.